Okay, guys. One of the worst things that I thought could possibly happen. Well, not necessarily one of the worst things, but high on that list. I was on my computer on eBay, and as I think I've told you guys before, I used this stereo as my computer speakers for my vintage audio setup for my stereo. Well, I was on the computer, started smelling something hot. I ignored it. Then I looked down. I see smoke coming out of these vents. It was just pouring out. So I frantically shut it off, unplugged it, took it apart, and found out that it was my bad wiring job on my light bulb. See, this thing's been going all day. And the bulb still works. It just shorted out because it got so hot it melted the electrical tape away and it grounded out with the chassis. Just amazed it made that much smoke though. My room still smells bad. Oh man. But I have it all plugged back in. Still works. I don't have the speaker hooked up to it. And as you can see, the stereo light still works. Actually, I can hook up my headphones to it. I think. Alright, alright. Plug this in here. Plug this in here. So, as much as you enjoy the experience, you won't have to go to the post office. We can automatically get your checking account or even charge your premium with your credit card. It's easy, and you never have to worry about paying with your car insurance premium again. That well, we must warn you, out. we won't get to the postage stamps. I hear they're coming out. It's right here. I'm just so glad it's still working. So happy. Alright. Well. This thing's so hot. From it being on all day. See the original light here? Burned out. So I compromised. And use the car light. This is came out of a car. Dome light. It was all packaged up. My dad bought a pack. Didn't need it. Stole it. One of the light, and I have one over here, which is also from that. And the one over here, which also burned out. The front lights burned out, so what I did is I replaced this one with one of the ones from our van. I just hope my parents didn't hear that. But, everything seems to be cooling off. That's a close call. Alright, well. Come back with an update. Maybe I'll have to call it part two or something. Because I'm using my phone. Piece of crap. Can't edit it. And I'll see if I can solder this back into place. Tape it up better this time. I mean, look at that. It just melted it right off. They don't make electrical tape like they used to. Believe me, I've used vintage electrical tape before. Stuff's strong. It's got like little fibers in it. It's crazy. But 
as I was saying, I'll come back with an update with the light soldered back in. And then I'll have another update with it all hooked back up and working again. So, thanks for watching my video and watch the other parts.